my biggest question was what were they going to do with the vampires? If they were going to be Calvin Klein models or if they were going to be like, you know, kick-ass vampires you want to have a beer with and go out and bite people. Anthony was like, you know, big man on campus. And he was the one that got all the dirt. All right. <laughs> this movie was a book before me being a movie. Were you guys familiar with the book when it came out? I'd heard about it, but I hadn't read it. You know, I, yeah, I hadn't read it. My niece had read uh, Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies and was starting on this right before I got the offer for it. So that was all I knew of it. And vampires are clearly really hot right now. They never Apparently. really weren't, but did you do any research with other contemporary vampire stories, like, for example, the Twilight films? We really didn't. You know, Timor was more interested in, you know, he made me go, which I'd already seen. He wanted it to be more grounded in reality. Uh, and, uh, like, we watched uh, Nosferatu, which is, you know, the kind of the original mm -hmm. sinister, mm -hmm. almost mythic vampire as opposed to uh, something else. And with me it was different because my biggest question was what were they going to do with the vampires? If they were going to be Calvin Klein models or if they were going to be, like, you know, kick-ass vampires you want to have a beer with and go out and bite people. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, you guys both went to Juilliard, right? Yeah. Did you know each other back yeah. then? You yeah. did? Anthony yeah. was like, you know, big man on campus. And he was the one that got all the girls. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys had to do some pretty intense training for your parts. Yeah. Can you tell me a bit about what that entailed? Well, they... Uh, Brought us down to New Orleans. I mean, Anthony trained at his house. Yeah, and they had people go. To I his trained house. in my yard. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, you know, we had to get in shape. I lost like thirty pounds. Um, and then they developed this axe fighting style, which was unique to Lincoln. And uh, guys like Don Lee, Justin Eaton, you know, guys that put the artist in martial artist, you know, taught us how to do it, and then stood there while we hit them with rubber axes. <laughs> yeah. You've kind of cornered the market, it seems, on doing... Yeah, weird interpretations <laughs> of presidents. Yeah, yes, I got quite. That. So <laughs> Don't try, Muslim. <laughs> All me. Are there any contemporary presidents or politicians you think would be, you know, something Well, there's only one like contemporary president, so <laughs> yeah, I, I feel where you're going with this. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, we are fascinated by our leaders, and um, I like historical uh, stories because... Uh, I like history because it's... We have to re-examine those things uh, so we don't make the same mistakes. And I read that you're going to be in Runner Runner. Is that true? Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Uh, well, Runner Runner is kind of like, it, it's Ben Affleck and Justin Timberlake. And uh, it's kind of like the story of the guys who founded online gambling mm -hmm. and started the whole circuit of taking it outside the U.S. so they didn't have to pay U.S. taxes. Mm -hmm. So it's that story. It's kind of like, you know, 21 and social network put together. Fun. And I play the... DA that takes him down, or the FBI agent that takes so him down. So you're taking down Justin Timberlake and Ben and Affleck? And Ben Affleck with a be big gun. You got this. Cushy gig. Right. <laughs> now, you guys are both pretty young, and I'm wondering, what to you is the best part of being an actor, aside from getting to do great work and do the work that you love? What's, what's the best, most fun part about it? I mean, you get to do so many different things. I mean, for this, we got to learn about Lincoln and Axe Fight and spend a lot of time in New Orleans. Yeah. And then, like we were talking yesterday, like, as an actor, you get to learn how to bake, but you don't have to actually be a baker for the rest of your life. You get right. to learn about different lifestyles and ways of living and uh, then go back to your own. Yeah, for me, it's the free time. I love to fish and sit on my couch and do absolutely nothing. <laughs>